And as warm as the fall and so far the winter has been, Mother Nature has definitely decided to leave 2020 with a big cold shot right in the mouth. Scott Padgett live for us tonight to walk us through the next yeah. 24 to 48 hours. There's no getting out of it. It's cold. Not at all. And would it be 2020 without that nice little cold shot to the face? And as you step outside, rounding out the year and we have rain on top of that. So it's been kind of a dismal, miserable day today with those temperatures dropping. I was going to try to paint it pretty nice, but you know what? Let's just tell it what it is. It is what it is. And we have the rain around some pockets of some heavy rain northeast sides of Tarrant County, also moving into Dallas County and widening out the view. More rounds of rain on the way. You can still even see down to the south. We have more rain all the way down to near Waco. So expect to see off and on rain through the remainder of the night tonight. And that trend continues in it to tomorrow with the upper level low even closer towards North Texas. So out near San Angelo, they've been dealing with some of the snow out to the west switching on over. And that's a sign of the colder air that's in place wrapping around this area of low pressure that will track its way right here into North Texas. So the future cast shows as we go through tonight and into tomorrow morning, more rain coming from south to north and our west counties, possibly some freezing rain near sunrise, possibly developing. And then through the day, a lot of that potential remains out in our west counties are further off to the west of the DFW area, but a cold rain remains in place for the last day of 2020. So going into tomorrow night, this is what we're looking at. We do tomorrow morning have a winter storm watch going into effect at six o'clock in the morning, remaining in effect until 3 a.m. on Friday for Eastland, Stevens and Young County. A little further to the east, we do have a winter weather advisory in effect from 6 a.m. also until 3 a.m. on Friday. That does include the Mineral Wells area, Stephenville, down to near Hamilton and Comanche. So what are we talking about? What are we looking at? Well, here's one of the forecast models in the forecast of snow. This is the European model. And you notice there in our west counties, possibly picking up maybe near an inch to an inch and a half if that happens near the Eastland County area, stretching up to near parts of the South Bend area. So our far west county is a little bit further to the west of that, maybe three inches of snow accumulating if we have that column of air cool enough. So here's the winter weather potential, freezing rain in the morning to sleet and snow possibly in the evening hours, maybe as far east as parts of Wise County and getting maybe into Parker County if we're lucky. Uh, we want to just remain nice and safe on the roadways. It is cold though as you take a look. Uh, we're 24 hour temperature change, almost 30 degrees colder than this time yesterday. So the cold air is in place, 41 degrees for us right now. Tomorrow, rounds of rain on the way, a 90 to 100% chance. We ring in at 2021, cold and kind of breezy and kind of rainy for us. A little bit of rain on Friday morning, giving way to 46 degrees by Friday afternoon. Then the first weekend of 2021, the sun returns, high temperatures up to near average.